Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Srini here and today we are going to learn a topic on what all knowledge is required in Core Java in order to require, in order to study Selenium. So I have been getting a lot of requests from subscribers who would want to know what all concepts do we do they need to know and learn in Java so that they can you know, start with Selenium. So this particular session is going to be very useful for you all. So please do watch the video to the end and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, I would strongly recommend to go ahead and subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to get notifications. If you have any queries, you can send me an email at this email address and even I'll be happy to take any topics which you suggest me to take. Or if you have any other requirements or training, you can send me an email at this address. So let's get started with today's topic. So what all Java knowledge is required in order to start with Selenium? So just to give a context here, before we start into this topic. So as we know, automation is very much in demand these days because all the IT companies as well as the other financial companies, they would require all the majority of the work to be done by automation. The reason is because it saves the cost, the efforts, and it improves the efficiency. So that is why many companies are targeting to make as much as possible entirely done through automation. So if you are a manual tester or a person from a non-technical background, and if you wish to come into automation, this is going to be a very good opportunity for you all to just increase your skill set to the next level and learn Java or any other programming language for that matter in order to learn any automation tool. So we are going to focus on Java for this particular session. So let's get started. So these are going to be the key takeaways which I can promise you from this particular video. What all Java concepts one has to be aware of? How much of a practical knowledge in Java is required in order for you to start Selenium? How can you get confidence in core Java concepts as well as practically? So that I'll be giving you all some tips. And at last we are going to look at how to apply these Java knowledge which we have learned in order to work with Selenium. So let's get started. So to explain the first point, what all Java concepts one needs to be aware of? I would say you need to be uh, good in core Java concepts. No it's not required to know in depth of uh, Java. So I would say core Java concepts, even if you don't know, even if, if you don't know Java 8 or Java 9 features, it's still fine. It's still okay because it's not required for Selenium. I would say it's not a mandatory thing for Selenium. It's good if you know it, but it's not mandatory. So which all concepts do you need to know in core Java? Let me list down them on here. You need to know oops concepts. So I'm just going to mention what are they. So objects, class, polymorphism, right? Abstraction, encapsulation, all the oops concepts you need to know inheritance right so all these different oops concepts you need to be aware of you need to know what is constructors how to apply so there are like parameterized and non-parameterized constructor so you all can just look at my other videos if you are not aware of these terminologies i have a separate playlist on java you can go across them then you would need to know what is the interface okay and how to use it Basically, like how can a class implement one or multiple interfaces? And basically uh, implement their methods. Interface is important. You need to know what is access modifiers in Java. So again, I have got a separate video on this. You can go across that. You need to know these terminologies of and the practical knowledge also about method overriding and method overloading. Okay, and uh, inheritance I've already mentioned in the oops, so you can just refer that point. It's covered in the first one. Then you need to know what is exception handling and how do we do exception handling in Java. So again, I've got a separate video on that. Let me mention few which you can you know come to know about try catch finally then we have try catch and use throw clause that is we are going to use throw new like that or you can use throws clause and you can just have try finally block also 
and you can have nested try catch as well. So these are the different ways you can have your exception handling done. Most important concept is collections. This is very important, not only in terms of Selenium, but even in terms of Java, this is a very core concept and it is required even if you are planning to go for an advanced Java concepts, collections is very important topic. So you need to learn and practice collections a lot and even know logically what is collections all about, right? So these are the important concepts which I would focus. And of course, in this one, your objects, class, methods, everything will be covered. And these all topics would I would be focusing on if I would were to you know learn Java and then go for Selenium. I think this should be enough for you to start with Selenium. Okay. The next point, what we are planning to see is how much of a practical knowledge is required for Selenium. I would say you need some practice. It's not like you need to be a master in core Java as such. If you are very good, then it's a plus point, but it's not a mandatory thing that you have to be a master or know thoroughly, but you need to have some good practical knowledge of whatever concepts I had shown in this word document. You need to practice on that individually one by one topic and then bring it all together. Right. So bring it all together, create a program like Fibonacci series, create a factorial of a number, reverse a string. So try to take some practical examples of what all interview questions get asked in a Java or a Selenium interview on Java and just get some confidence practically on Java. So how do you get confidence in core Java is my next point. You can practice a lot of such programs. Take a program question, which is asked often in interviews. You have already learned the concepts. I'm assuming you've learned the concepts and then you're attempting the quiz or the practical questions. So without seeing the answer, just think on your own, create a logical path on your own. How can you get to that particular final output, whichever is desired, right? And just think on that. Try to apply all the concepts, whichever you've learned in Java. If you can get time, learn Java 8 features also because there are a lot of concepts which require Java 8 features and try to practice, even take some quiz online. There are a lot of different uh, quiz available online like Hacker Earth and different other websites which will give you a good platform to know where you are in terms of Java and improve. If you are lagging behind, you can improve again by going to the concept, whichever is not clear and practice on that. Last point is how do you apply this Java knowledge to learn with Selenium? Simple thing is you start with Selenium. Whenever you have learned these basic Java concepts, you just start off with Selenium. For Selenium, you just need to know what is locators in Selenium. So basically, how do you inspect an element in the web application, right? If that much you know, then you are ready to start practicing, practicing with Selenium and Java. Then you already know how to write a class, right? how to create methods. If you are not aware of the Selenium concepts, also it's fine. You can start with the main method initially to get started, create an object of the class, invoke the method using the object, right? Yeah, so there are other few small, small concepts as well, which is required in Java. So let me list them down here. So you need to know and practice these keywords. Super, okay, final, static abstract so you have to know these keywords as well because they play a very important role uh, when you are trying to work with selenium these also play a very important role so you have to practice as well with these different keywords so let coming back to the last point on the slide yeah you have to apply this java knowledge to learn with selenium by starting with selenium create a class create an object invoke the method again create some static methods make a way of invoking the static methods without creating an object. Use constructors in that particular class. Right? Do method overloading, do method overriding. Just get all the Java concepts onto your Selenium when you start practicing with Selenium. Just make it apply there. Just start using those concepts when you start learning with Selenium. And you just have to have a method created which will just launch the browser. Of course, you will have to learn the Selenium syntax of what is a driver, web driver basically. Driver web driver is an interface, right? So when you create a reference variable for that interface, you can't instantiate an interface, right? You have to go ahead and instantiate for a class. So that is why we say web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. 
because Chrome driver is a class which is implementing the web driver interface. So using that driver variable, launch an application, like launch a browser, launch an application, let's say google.com or any website, inspect some elements using its syntax, and you are going to do all of this through Java because you're creating an object of the class, you're invoking a method, and then you're using a driver variable to do all the actions. So this is how I would summarize. Learn Java, practice it thoroughly, and I've already given in that word document what all concepts are required in Java to be thorough enough. So just practice these concepts and then you're ready to learn with Selenium. So if you have any other thing which you would like to know, do let me know in the comments and I would be happy to take a video on that. Thank you so much and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet.